The earth, the air, the fire, the water return, 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 return. The earth, the air, the fire, the water return, 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 return. Ay, 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 oh, 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 it's B, and again I'm sitting in this beautiful landscape here in Avalon. My beloved is in front of me. We've decided to do a little walk, and I wanted to make a video about thought forms and how we can prevent thought forms from attacking us, and how we can prevent us attacking using attacking thought forms and it was a really interesting conversation I just had with somebody from Austria would you believe it who was at the ceremony with me and he was talking about cascading um, thought forms and it was an interesting conversation about what if we think something often enough if we speak something often enough it actually becomes a sentient conscious being and you can have the creation of a thought form for good when you do it consciously with the right intentions with love with you know an endeavor to make this place a better world for everyone or your negativity your shadow work all of the stuff that brings your triggers in all your boundary issues can actually create a thought form of resentment and of anger and of viciousness and a lot of people are unaware of that it is magical it is a magical thing and I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because there is a lot of darkness in the world right now now there is a good kind of darkness where we are resting where we are at peace where we can create you know the Druids of old used to lie in a in a in a hut for three days with a stone big stone on their chest so that they would have sensory deprivation and they would come up with the most amazing poetry and I know that I write better I speak better when I'm not disturbed by lots of noise or lots of people but when we are not intentional when we are not creating good from that soil from that darkness from that seed then unfortunately it will start harming others so we always have to be incredibly aware when we start thinking negative thoughts. I'm not blaming or shaming anybody. There are often days when I'm like, for F's sake, what is going on with you all? But immediately I send something out there to take that away, take that energy away. Now I'm going to get really twee because my thing is a pulsating red heart that I've once seen on a card in Happy Glastonbury that I really liked. It had lots of sparkles, lots of pink, lots of red. But it was the perfect symbol, the perfect sigil to take back the negative energy that I was sending into the world. So immediately when I think badly of someone or I'm cross about something, I visualize my red heart pulsating and flying out into the world so that it can take back that thought and just basically surround it with love and neutralize it in a way. It's like Neutrodol for smells. If we don't do that, what will happen is that we are giving the thought form energy. So let's say you've fallen out with somebody, somebody that got on your nerves and you keep thinking, God's sake, I wish that person, person X, would blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever comes up for you, whatever is in that moment. If you don't take that away, there will be a thought form created. And that thought form will take on the intention of being sent against that one person. Thought forms are sentient beings. They, they serve us. We have created them. We are their mothers and fathers. So they will go where we send them and they will do the job that we ask them to do. And what they think we're asking them to do is to harm that person or protect you from that person. Now you may think that that's really, you want protection from that person. If somebody's harming you, of course you want to protect yourself. But there is a magical way of creating that thought form with the right intention, with the right boundaries, and that is something that you can learn. You can learn that. It is available to be learned 
I teach it, other people teach it, whomever is your preferred teaching methodology or whomever you trust the most to be your teacher, they will be able to help you with that. Allow nothing that is negative to be coming from you into the world. This world is struggling as it is. If you allow the negativity to overwhelm you, it will also harm you. It will rebound and it will harm you. So let's sing away some of the negativity in this world here on the sacred fields of the tour. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing down to the sea. Oh, mother, carry me, your child I will always be. Oh, mother, carry me down to the sea. And on that note, I'd like to be at the seaside. I might even sneak away. I wish you a really beautiful day, many, many blessings, and goodbye.